Hello there everyone, I'm Justin, your Eagle Skipper here with a brand new series of Football Manager 2021 experiments. And in this series, we're going to be ask, answering the question of what age cohort of Premier League players would be the most successful if they banded together in one team. And so if you're excited for this new series, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you can catch the rest of the series as it comes out. And I'm planning to have them out every Tuesday and Thursday, maybe Saturdays, but we'll have to see. So what I did in the lead up for this is I went into the FM21 pregame editor and searched by each age and picked the best players in each position that will fit the tactic that we're going to be using. And they had to be contracted their main contract with a premier league team so if they're out on loan i brought them back canceled all the outgoing loans so everyone's in the team for this season and yeah we're gonna be seeing what we can do with that um we're gonna be using the quicksta guiding press tactic that you can find on fm scout i'll put the link in the description below and so for the players i prioritize personal uh, positional competency rather then i looked at the current ability and took the three best from each position, except for center backs and uh, center midfield, where I took four. Um, and then for the teams that had age 23 and younger, who still had uh, potential to fulfill, I only brought in two. Uh, I dropped one of the player, one of the top current ability players, and added in the highest potential ability player, just so that they can have the potential, so they can use the potential, see if that helps out any. And then I gave everybody five-year contracts, said they were going to leave at the end, so nobody's going to come and swoop in any of our high uh, performers. I also healed all the injuries, and yeah, so for, yeah, so we're going to be playing with Sheffield United here. As you can see, I've done everything that I can think of to to keep us using the players um, that we are supposed to be using. So they have a transfer ban for five years. All the players are going to be at the club. Um, I also went into the backroom staff, sacked everybody, and gave the highest uh, reputation unemployed manager at the beginning of each game, Ernesto Valverde. Uh, he's going to be their assistant manager and is going to be captaining him through the rest of this series. So, yeah... Um, other things that I did to Sheffield United, I gave them state-of-the-art youth and training facilities, but then gave them no youth intake statistics whatsoever, because I don't want our guys, especially the youngsters, to get outshone by some region wonder kid. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be forcing them to play our selected tactic, as you can see, custom gag and press. I'm not going to give a team selection, I'm going to let Ernesto Valverde do what he can, he, he's a lot better at managing football teams than I am. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at the players that are going to be in our under 18s. We're going to have one, for each episode, we're going to have one age group going at a time. And I just took our youngest players and took the, the under 18s. So yeah, going in alphabetical order, we got Faustino Andurin from Chelsea. Then we've got Gavin Bazinou from Man City. Matthews Bogus from Leeds, Jaden Braff from Man City, uh, Brainthwaite from Everton, Fabio Carvalho from Fulham, Dennis Sirkin from Tottenham, Tommy Doyle from Man City, Harvey Elliott from Liverpool, Alvaro Fernandez from, well, this says Real Madrid, but he's in a he's he's in an actual Premier League team. I think he's in Sheffield United. Um, where is he? Mason Greenwood from Man United. Hannibal, also from Man United. Taylor Harwood Bellas from Man City. Sylvester Jasper from Fulham. Ethan Laird from Man United. Ian Matson from Chelsea. Marcelo Pitigula from another team. In, I can't see because I used the pregame editor, so he's not there. He may be from Sheffield United. Um, uh, Tiden Mengi from Man United. Cole Palmer from Man City, Troy Parrott from Tottenham, Pelestri from another team, <laughs> Hayden Roberts from Brighton, Buyako Saka from Arsenal, Jack Scott from Wolves, Fabio Silva from uh, Porto, uh, Sinal Sinalco, the Finnish guy, I can't say his name, from Villa, um, Stefanovic from Man City, Harvey White from Tottenham, 
Jan Kuto from another team that I can't find. And yeah, that's the team that we're going to be putting out for this first season. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go on vacation. But before we go on vacation, let's see when we're going to come back. I'm going to have this run until the end of May. That's when they play their last game. So we're going to reject all offer. We're not going to apply for coaching. We're going to use the current match tactics. We're going to come back on May 31st, 2021. So yeah, let's hit start, go on vacation. And just so my computer doesn't explode, I'll cut here and come back when this is done. And we're back. I've had some lunch, took the dog on a walk, and uh, the the simulation has finished. So let's uh, get in and see what has happened. Um, well, we we can see up here we finished 16th in the league. Let's just go ahead and click on the Premier League. We were expected to finish. Well, they they expected to finish 15th. Previously, it's, it showed that they were supposed to finish 20th, so that's good. Nobody's in the team report there. Uh, we don't have anybody on here except for <laughs> Hayden Roberts, who is a third top Naughty Boy Club leader. <laughs> um, good to see that. Good to see that. Uh, 11 wins, 8 draws, 19 losses, 41 points. 40 points is enough to make you safe. I think... I think this year's Sheffield United would definitely take this team, both for the present and the future. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at my profile. Let's take a look at the squad. Let's 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 sort by average rating. Uh, we've got a couple of goalkeepers. Gavin Bazunu, the Irish keeper. It looks like he started most games. Went from a two star up to a two and a half star. That's pretty good to see. Uh, the Finnish keeper Sisonko went from a two star to a two star. He's he's improved quite a bit. Uh, Faustino Andrin looks like he was one of the players of the season. Uh, eight goals, ten assists, not too shabby from Mr. Andrin there. And Baguz looks like he played quite a bit as well. Uh, yeah, looks like he played pretty decently. Let's take a look at the appearance. Who was ever present? Mason Greenwood was ever present. Uh, that can't be too much of a surprise. Scored 16 goals this season off an XG of 16, so that's not too shabby. Um, who else scored a lot? Uh, Buyako Saka scored, what was that, 11 goals in the league. Not too shabby from from the left wing. Andrin scored 11 goals. Palestri scored a, a bunch from the right side. That's uh, good to see. Is anybody dropped off their potential, done anything. I don't know what else to look at. What's the XG? Who had the highest XG? It was Greenwood. So he, he met his XG potential and everyone else over uh yeah, did well too. Um yeah, he's these are the guys leading the assist charts. Let's take a look at the schedule, see what they did in each competition. They made it through the FA Cup fourth round. They made it through the fourth round. Uh they they lost in this the second round of the Carabao Cup. Ooh, that's not good. And they lost on penalties in the fifth round of the FA Cup. And then they went on a stretch from the beginning of March till the end of May, winning one game, getting a total of six points. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. They had a, to be fair, they had a tough run. Um, and yeah, can we look at uh, season review? Don't know if that's gone or not. Yeah, let's take a look. Anybody in the not not even any youth candidates were worth taking on, so <laughs> good on them. Did anybody spend any time out on loan? Doesn't look like it. And what is the club vision looking like? They're very pleased with the leadership. That's a B plus. Good job for them. And yeah, a couple people wanting to go out on loan, but yeah, I'd say this was a. Uh, a, a decent, decent, uh, decent season for them. I think. Uh, I mean, Sheffield United have been <laughs> on a tear recently, going up in the fields, getting Mason Greenwood. I think they would, they would like that. Um, this team looks like they did pretty well. Um, I will put some of these statistics in a spreadsheet, and at the end of the series, we can look through and see 
what team had the best season. But yeah, I'd say this was a successful season. The 18 year olds finished, the under 18 team finished 16th place on 41 points. Be on the lookout on Thursday for the new episode of this series where we're going to be watching to see if the 19 year olds from the Premier League can beat the under 18s. So remember to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you want to give a suggestion for a future experiment and subscribe to see how the rest of this series turns out.